And we're live. So welcome everybody to my crazy day of five lives in one day. And this is my last one. And it's going to be a fun one, guaranteed, 100%. And um, I'm very excited to have Patrick van Dieme. Yes, another Dutch guy. Yes, another crazy name on Become a Fearless Father. And we're going to try and speak as proper English as we can. And we're going to mess up real good. <laughs> so anyway, Patrick, thank you so much for coming on. Uh, sorry for the confusion. Patrick's like, oh, I thought we just going to have an introduction call. And now we're going to have the interview right away. And I'm like, yeah. And he's like, all right, let's do this. That's what I like. So before we get into the background story, right? You've been talking about who's Patrick and what's your family set up and all that good stuff. I got a question because I checked your website out a little bit. Let me real quick. For the people that are coming on, that's the website. Check it out. It looks absolutely amazing. And he's doing even more amazing stuff than that I can share. But he's going to share that during our interview. So tell me, what's the system to create a life and business that one deserves? What's the system? The exactly. system? Are you talking about the technical system? Or are you talking about the uh, thinking system? Or is it about the social system? <laughs> mm -hmm. Nice. I like that. Yep, you're absolutely right. So I'm talking about the step by step. And um, let's start off with mindset of what a person has to do to take the steps to create. A life and business one deserves because you and I both know that there's way too many dads out there that are living like freaking zombies, right? And they need somebody just like you to really take the steps that one deserves. And I'm just wondering, like, what is it that you help people with to take those first steps? What's that system? Well, yeah, as you said, it is it is true. Uh, it's actually uh, pretty sad, but it's true that way too many people are living in lives that they hate, mostly, mm -hmm. that they're really not comfortable with, they, 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 they don't feel fulfilled, they feel unhappy, and they are hoping that in the future will be better. But actually, I, I say, yeah, why should it be better if you're not changing? Mm -hmm. There has to be change. And usually change happens, but sadly enough, that happens once once uh, one hits a real hard wall or a mm -hmm. rock bottom, you know, usually that is the first step, sadly enough. People find themselves sick, maybe a burnout, or they uh, start, uh, you know, maybe uh, start using uh, alcohol or drugs or something else to escape the reality and, or, or a relationship to start breaking. Mm -hmm. Sadly enough, that's mostly what happens uh, for people to start taking action and thinking about, you know, this. I'm not happy and, and maybe I can do something about it. Mm -hmm. That's first step. What I'm trying to do with my movement, with my uh, uh, um, uh, uh, philosophy is to uh, tell people, uh, especially parents, you know, wait a second, don't wait until it goes that bad. You know, you mm -hmm. can be talking about it, and the earlier you stop thinking about it, uh, thinking about what you really want, what are the, th the important things in your life, what do you need to change in your life, and how can you do that? So you can actually have a fun life, you know, a life where you have enough money, and you have enough time, and you have enough uh, relationships, and nice relationships around you, because it is possible, although sometimes we're so deep in, in this uh, daily crunch, in this daily high intensity, high level of stress, uh, uh, daily routine, that you don't realize there's other ways to live, as a, especially as, as a parent with uh, young children. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's the first step. Uh, and second step is really making the decision, you know, mm -hmm. I'm going to do something about it. I'm going to take action and I'm going to do something about it. And it, it doesn't matter if you're uh, really hit uh, uh, um, uh, rock bottom or you uh, find yourself in a situation that you're really not happy with or that somebody else uh, makes you think about it and make, maybe gives you a possibility, hey, there is a better way. Why don't you try that? And then go the soft way in the transition. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. That will be uh, the, the second two, the second step. And after that is really working on yourself. Because as I said, we are so into uh, routines, into these bad habits or mm -hmm. negative thinking, thinking that it's not other, uh, not possibilities. We start becoming a, a um, how do you say that? A, a victim of, of our uh, uh, reality that we mm -hmm. start uh, making that our perception of our reality, and don't st stop thinking about other possibilities. And the moment you start uh, thinking, oh, maybe I can do something else. Uh, I see other people that parents with jobs, but still changing their lives to the better, to the better, to to have a a, a, a fun life. You know, a life with, as I said. With all the good things, it's possible. Mm -hmm. It is possible, believe me. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Well, I appreciate you, and I appreciate you asking, like, okay, what, what, what is the actual question? What are you looking for? And this was exactly what I was looking for. So I appreciate you filtering it out what I was trying to get from you. Thanks for that, and also your philosophy. That was very important to share. And for me, the immediate question came in my head is like. But if, if there's guys out there like you, right, that have discovered this before and, and now are showing it to people so they can do it before they hit rock bottom, still, there are so many people that first have to hit that wall, right, and run into it. And maybe, and sometimes not even once. It's like you see these people just running into <laughs> the same wall. Oh, yeah, I'm not happy, so I'm going to change my job. So from this shitty nine-to-five, I'm going to go to the next shitty nine-to-five, right? <laughs> what you mentioned, right, that's so true, hoping that it will be better. But there's no change. It's just, just you know, new colleagues. Hopefully they're a little nicer. <laughs> Probably, you know, there's a big chance they won't, right, because they're all just as miserable as you are. <laughs> so, and then you just see people, and then it's like, but there's such guys like you and, and, and other guys that are, are teaching. It's like, why are the guys that keep running into the wall not looking for that and making that click? And I, I think, well, if you have an answer, that'd be great. But I've been thinking about this for a long time. And it's like, I have no answer still. It's like, I just don't understand it. And I, I left it with that. It's like, you know, I try my best just like you to reach them right before beforehand. And well, that that's it, right? I, I actually have a, an answer for it because nice. I I was in that situation. I okay. I was in a job. Uh, I thought I was uh, really really. Uh, I was in a place I was supposed to be happy. I was supposed to feel successful, and I was supposed to be happy with my life. You know, I had a, a beautiful family, three kids, nice house, nice car. Nice job, uh, uh, you know. I was on the top of the company, and um, but I was working so many hours. Mm. And when I got home, I was so tired. I all, all I wanted was to rest. But I, I I had these three little kids. To to the point, it was breaking me from inside to the point that I I, I fell into a burnout. Mm -hmm. Boom! My 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 body said it's enough. I thought I didn't have any limits. <laughs> that feeling that you can go and on and on and on, but one day my my, my body said enough is enough, so I I crashed. Mm -hmm. So I stayed home for three whole months. I could not believe it was possible. I thought the whole company will just <laughs> fall into pieces because I wasn't there for three months. <laughs> First lesson. Yeah. <laughs> I see you go too. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but you know what the crazy thing is? Three months later. I was, I, I started a little bit, you know, uh, uh, taking it easy. And I think four weeks in, I was exactly on the same routine, exactly on the same tempo and, and long hours and weekends and nights as I was uh, before the uh, crash. Mm -hmm. So like, like you said, we hit sometimes the same uh, uh, wall many times. And I was thinking, you know, why? And I see this with a lot of people that I'm helping now. Uh, what, why is that? It's because we are working. I mean, I was working already for maybe 20 years, 15 years, now 20 years. Mm -hmm. And it's this whole machine around us, the whole system, uh, not only inside of our heads, 
But uh, around us, our economical situation, now, we have a, a, a mortgage that we have to pay. Maybe we have a, a, a study loan that we have to pay back. The whole expectation, even when you go to, to a birthday party, the topic usually is how's your how's work going? You know how uh, how's your job doing? You know you you become so identified with this uh, situation you are. Mm. So it's already hard enough to change uh, one of the aspects. Let's say okay, uh, you move from a house and you start uh, you don't have a mortgage or you don't, you know from the from the physical things you move out, but then you have the social pressure. You know also you have a maybe a good job or uh, some uh, some level in, in your career people expect you to 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 stay there and maybe yourself also you know you don't want to just give in in that so there's a lot of factors from all uh, different places pushing you back on the same track where you were where you were like for 15 20 years working so hard for mm -hmm. so it's it's not crazy that we have to hit the same wall many times mm -hmm. yeah yeah i like that I like the way you explained that and it's not popped in my head like the red race, right? We keep trying to, because that's what is shown to us, right? We make more money. So we spend more money so we can show people like, look at, look at me, like look at my family. We're rich. Like we have no money, but we're rich because, you know, we drive a nice car and we have a big house that we have a huge mortgage on, et cetera, et cetera. So lots of stress, right? So I appreciate you sharing that. And, so that, that was already a great part of your background story. Um, could you, you know, share a little bit more and share a little bit more about, you know, your, uh, your vision and your philosophy with patrickvandiemen.com? And um, I'm always very interested in what's the family setup so people can link that more in, like, what kind of entrepreneur are you? All right. Uh, I'm not prepared because I thought we were just so I don't have any pictures or anything there with me. I think no, my coffee mug. Uh, I just bring downstairs because I have a coffee mug with my family in it. <laughs> but uh, let me just go a little bit uh, even further in the past. I am. Um, I was actually born in Bolivia, in South America. Oh, right. I grew up there. And my dad comes from Holland, and my mom is from Bolivia. So my dad went mm. there and uh, met my mom. You know. <laughs> So when I uh, finished, uh, I, I was almost finished with high school, I decided to come to Holland because I wanted to study here in Holland. Like I had the passport, I thought that's an opportunity, I cannot just let it pass, you know, all my friends wanted to go study abroad and nobody could, and I had mm -hmm. the possibility, so I, I thought I had to do it. So that's why I, 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 I'm here in Holland, and during my studies, I came across my wife, Juliette, she's a Dutch girl, and uh, so actually we were together since uh, um, yeah university wow. we are already 20 years together yeah i'm 40 i, I just uh, turned out 40 at the end of last year uh, we have three kids three boys dastan kiran and bodan uh, the oldest is eight and the youngest is uh, just three years old uh, so we're just this beautiful happy family here uh, last year, I because after hitting twice uh, this wall at my work, I decided I'm going to change. I'm going to change, and I don't know how. I don't know what I'm going to do. But if I don't do something very drastic, mm -hmm. uh, if I don't change, nobody, no, nothing's going to change in my life. So I went to my um, to my boss and I said, I'm quit. I, I quit because my life. I don't like the, the way it's going and. Um, I have to do something, otherwise I'm going to stay in this road, in this train track. Uh, mm -hmm. yeah? And he said, no, no, you can't. Uh -huh. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> no, he said, no, think about it and we'll talk in one month. No, I said, I quit right now. What are you going to do? I don't know. So he said, okay, look, go find something. And when you find it, uh, you, you go. And we're gonna uh, we're gonna find somebody else to uh, to put in your place, and if we find somebody, then you have to go in that moment. It's a perfect plan, you know. After four months, actually, uh, they found a, a somebody to to uh, re uh, replace me, and uh, I trained him for a month, and then I said, guys, I, I'm going. I don't know what. On that moment, I was really looking into uh, buying an existing business because I thought if I'm a business owner. 
I'm going to have the flexibility to uh, work whenever I want. You know, I, I wasn't scared to work, but I wanted to say when I wanted to work mm -hmm. because uh, I wanted to be flexible for my kids. My, my wife's uh, uh, job was not flexible at all, especially in that uh, period of time. Mm -hmm. And my youngest kid was a baby, you know, and they were going to daycare for the whole day, every day. So I hated that. I was really breaking my heart. Yeah. So, um, so I was in a situation, no job. The, the, I was going to buy myself into another company uh, as a management, management buy-in. And the deal just broke a, a week before uh, I had to leave. So I was like at home and said, what? I cannot be at home. <laughs> this is totally against my beliefs, against my, 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 my uh, set, yeah, set of beliefs in my head. Mm -hmm. And then I talked to my wife, like, what I'm going to do? And I don't know. But we started thinking about you know, in solutions. You know, let's, let's figure out how much money we pay for daycare. <laughs> mm -hmm. That was almost my whole salary going there. So I decided, you know, let's arrange stuff and move things around financially, really looking at things. And I was actually managing with my savings to stay at home, mm -hmm. take care of the kids, and she uh, can focus on her business, which uh, at that moment was really uh, a, a critical point. And uh, I started looking on the internet things to do. So I started with, uh, uh, <laughs> with cryptocurrency. I dived into that. Uh, I thought I don't have enough control of it uh what happens so I, I didn't do much with it mm -hmm. and then i found this training program that said you know you can you can actually be, uh, build an online business um whenever in the time you have even next to your business or next to your job or, or in the hours you have you have to commit to a, a certain amount of hours per, per week uh, but then you can build something I said, that sounds like a, a exactly the right fit for me so I check it out. I got information, and I just started very skeptical because I thought this is maybe scam or something. They're gonna get my money and uh, disappear. <laughs> but it's actually a really good training uh, system. And uh, now I'm a I'm affiliate. I'm I'm building a business and around my my family uh, life, but uh, with the focus of really waking people up also to the possibilities that are actually we have these amazing possibilities online nowadays. And uh, of course, I take care a lot of uh, I take a lot of care of my kids all the time, but uh, I can build my business around it, and it's going pretty good. So uh, I'm learning new skills and becoming an online marketer. I was a mechanical engineer before, <laughs> and I'm boring and I'm reinventing myself. And that's what it takes, you know. You say what's the steps and what is the the, the, the system? That's it, you know. Make a decision and work for it. Make uh, make it happen. And the possibilities are there, especially now uh, in this uh, digital economy. It, there are so many things. It's not easy because you have to learn your stuff. Maybe some people put it to uh, sell it, uh, that, that it's something like you click a couple of uh, buttons and then you, you're making money. But uh, it's not really that way. I mean, you have to learn the skills. You have to try. You have to invest. Uh, but it is a real business. And, and uh, once once it's running, you know, you have also a real business uh, that, that uh, you can run with all the flexibility. Mm -hmm. And the best about this system, about what I'm doing, what, how I'm focusing, is trying to find people who are about to crash or they are in this deep point and they don't see the light, you know, they, 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 they don't see how can they improve their situation. And I, I show them a possibility and sometimes the, just the idea to show them a possibility is enough for them to start thinking of differently. And some other people uh, uh, asked me to, to guide them a little bit more and, and help them to start their businesses also. Mm -hmm. so that's, that's what I'm doing right now. Great, man. I love it. Such, such important work and, and inspiring. I listened to you and, and I, <laughs> my brain kept going like, oh, that's amazing. That's amazing. I got to stay focused with the interview. I can't let my brain go <laughs> too far away. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I love it, man. So it's such an inspiring story. So I really appreciate you sharing that. And, and guts, man, I, I was listening to you and I'm like, dang, that, you know, I, I, well, I'm going to say it anyway, that takes some balls, right? Just to say, look, man, I'm going to quit my job. I'm tired of it. I have no idea what I'm doing because most people that do take that step, they already have like an idea of what they're going. I had an idea. 
right? I was working for my nine to five and I was building a business along the side. Now I made the step as well to go in my business without really having enough support. Like there wasn't enough money yet coming in, but I took that point. But taking a plunge saying like, oh man, I have no idea. I just know there is something better out there and I'm going to find it and it's going to work. That belief is so important. So I must assume you teach that. Is that correct? Is that something that you teach as well? The belief in so, in somebody else and or in, in somebody himself? Sorry. Yeah, great that you touched this point, but it's actually something I learned much later. Mm. That thing, what you said, is this belief. There is always a moment in your in, in your journey or in, 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 the, in this experience that you question yourself. Mm -hmm. um, and it wasn't, you know, the decision I made was thinking I had a chance. I had already this this business. I was buying myself into another business, which mm. back is the worst I could have done. And I was getting this huge uh, loan to be um, an investor of a business and I was going to run it with somebody else. Crazy that I, I thought that was my, my, my way out. <laughs> So luckily that, that deal went down, didn't go through. Oh, one second. Yeah, hey, come on in. We love when the kids come and visit. Hello. This is Boran. This is Boran. Hey, and that's Juliet. Hello, we're live on Facebook. Hi. He was just going to uh, to bed. Ah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Come on, mama. I'm sorry for that, guys. <laughs> no, 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 see that? All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna jump. All right, that's one thing, man. I, I don't allow, I don't ever allow any dampener to apologize for a kid interrupting. I mean, I love it. That's my show. It's the daughter fearless father. There's no way ever that. Our kids are going to come after a live interview. Our kids always will come first. So I love it. My kids come in all the time. My wife took them now to the park because my youngest one was going absolute bananas, was going nuts. But it's so important, man. People need to see this, right? This is, why we're this is why we're entrepreneurs. So we can do whatever we want without having to apologize saying, oh, I'm, no, man. <laughs> no. Yeah. Again, he goes first. Yeah. Yeah. So I love it, man. Thanks, thanks for sharing that. Thanks for taking the time. I love it. It was beautiful. People need to see that. So absolutely, thank you for that. So um, it did interrupt what we we're talking about, but that's quite all right. We Doesn't should... matter. I think we're we're touching actually a much better point right now. It's like you say, uh, we're doing this because we want to be part of our kids' lives. You know, exactly. whatever the, the 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 decisions and how we made it. You know. It, the thing is believing on ourselves uh, you know that belief is necessary mm -hmm. but i think uh, the moments I, I i i wasn't sure uh, that i will m make it happen or that i was uh, you know sometimes you get this this uh, uh, opportunities to like a good job opportunity that to bring you back to the nine to uh, uh, wait the, the, the uh, nine to five uh, rat race mm -hmm. and that's why it's so hard to stay on this no. But uh, the moment you have a, a, a vision of a life where uh, the real important things for yourself are possible, then your focus is start concentrating there. Mm. All these other things start falling away. You know, it's much more easy to, to uh, stay on track. Yeah. And these kind of things, you know, I want a business that I can run uh, giving the priority to my kids. So mm. if they are sick, I don't work. I'm with them. And in my previous job, it was stress. I was like, what to do? Just give them medicines and bring them to daycare. That was a solution. Yeah. Which is inhuman. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and now my business can't wait. You know, my business, I, if I don't do it today and I do it tomorrow, my priorities are different right now. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and like you said, I shouldn't apologize because this is what I love. This is what I'm doing. You know, being here with the kids and and doing the things I, I'm interested on, you know, learning about the internet, learning the, the possibilities online. But I do that on my own time uh, after mm -hmm. I had enough of my kids. <laughs> yeah. 
Man, I love it. And you're right, right? You have your own belief. Sometimes that lets us down, but then you know you have your kids, right? So it's like, man, there's no, I must. Man, it's, it's actually unfair, isn't it? To all the other people that do not have kids, we actually have a big advantage. I mean, I think so. Now that I think of it, I'm like, man, it's unfair, actually. I mean, we, we you know, if you got three kids, you got three times the extra power because you know, like, okay, if it's not that one kid, then, you know, I got to do it for the other one. <laughs> for that one, over all three, right? So, man, I loved it. So I appreciate that. Now, you mentioned something, right? You're studying your own time and, and stuff. One of the biggest things that dampeners are struggling with uh, that I've noticed, and, and they keep saying that, oh, I don't have the time for this, I don't have the time for that, is just structuring that time in such a way that it works for everybody. Because one of the big traps is, and, and actually it's funny because I, I saw a post on Facebook today and it was saying that, it's like, I changed my 40-hour work week for, for, for my job to an 80-hour work week as an entrepreneur. I was like, <laughs> that... That doesn't work, but that was me in the beginning, right? That's still like, okay, I came home being a dadpreneur, but I'm still not a dad because I'm, now I'm just hiding in my office instead of going to an, an office somewhere else, right? So that didn't work. And what what is your uh, yeah time management strategy to make sure that you spend enough time with the kids, but you also you know spend time with what's most important with your kids and and your wife? Yeah. The strategy is uh, at the beginning, uh, there wasn't. I had to find it. At the beginning, mm -hmm. I was uh, working as much as uh, building my business as much as I could and all the, all the small hours. But um, I have to be real, you know, if you really want to make an income from internet, uh, from, from uh, something you knew, actually, whatever it is, uh, and I use uh, an online business because it is flexible, because mm -hmm. it's a 24 hours a day uh, uh, economy. So it doesn't matter if you work in the weekend or in the evenings or, you know, that's why uh, I chose this. Mm -hmm. But my strategy was uh, at the beginning, be there for my kids because that's what I wanted at the beginning. And then uh, the the leftovers of the time put it on my on my business. So it wasn't really working. It wasn't, and I was getting very frustrated about my business also because it wasn't growing enough. Yeah. So I think it's you have to try, uh, take uh, your business real as 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 a, as a real business. You know, you, this this uh, project to make uh, an income online. You have to trade it, take it as a business, and take yourself as a, uh, someone who works for the business. So it, it, thinking, you know, if if I produce these kind of results for this business, will, uh, how much uh, salary or how much uh, income should I uh, deserve from it? Mm -hmm. Which makes you think about the focus in, on, uh, on, the, on the important things, on the things that make uh, uh, the big difference uh, on growing a business. So that, I think that's key, you know, focus, 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 focus. And think, man, having your your uh, your data, your financials clear, so you know what is going to make the biggest step in the hour that I have or in the half a day that I have or whatever. So you know what you can do when you have the time. Mm -hmm. And uh, really make an a, a appointment for example now i have with my with my wife i said i took the first year more or less i was always flexible for the kids but at a certain moment i said come on if i want to make this business a, a success i need to take it serious so i need to have uh, also some some days that i'm focused on my business and uh, yeah and, and it's just making appointments you know managing the time with with the people around you and have one day or one and a half days per week where you're focused, really uh, concentrated, can work. And the other, and the rest in my case is just whenever it suits me, based on evenings. And sometimes I, I woke up early in, in the weekends and I work a couple of hours, mm -hmm. you know, whenever, whenever it's needed. So uh, the strategy is focus, 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 focus. Mm -hmm. Have your, your goals clear uh, and the time you have, um, make it uh, count and also make really good. Uh, uh, um, uh, plants and, and uh, really make a good uh, how to say uh, schedule your time but make a good uh, appointment or how do you, I don't know the right word in English right now with, with your family when you're working and when you're not uh, working mm -hmm. 
Yeah, I like that. That's very important. Just always make sure that what you're doing at that moment is yeah, on, right? <laughs> Sorry, uh, one more. Uh, no, that that you 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 struck a, gr a great point. It's like your focus, but it's not just focus on okay. Now I'm at work, so now I'm focusing, or now I'm spending time. Focusing. It is focus on whatever is there at that moment. If it's kids, or your wife. That's what you meant, right? You just focus on. Yeah, yeah, I love it. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah. one of the things I really enjoyed this book. The one yeah, thing. Yeah, is, exactly. Yeah. 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 And, uh, this was this was the yeah. for me. I, I I started recommending it to everybody now because that helped me. You know, I uh, and for especially in the summer because the kids are going to be off for three months. It's like okay, yeah, I only have two hours today, right? Or I only have an hour. So what's what's my one thing? What, what can I focus on right now that's just going to make everything else unnecessary, but still is going to give me the feeling like, okay, yeah, I worked well. I was only an hour, but, you know, I made an impact again on my business today, and I, I, I moved forward, even if it's a small step. So I, 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 I also read the, the book, and actually what I was saying was based on that. <laughs> ah, nice. Yeah, I to recognize a little bit of what you're sharing. That's awesome. <laughs> so I appreciate that. Um, now, you mentioned one thing, right? You, you said, like, um, you know, you're focused on your target audience and you're trying to find them before they hit that wall, right? Before they, they get into the situation where you've been in, um, burned out and just feeling completely miserable, messing up the marriage because it has a huge effect on, on your marriage, of course. So I'm wondering because that's one of the things that I'm working on and sometimes struggling a little bit with is how do you go about finding your target audience? What's your, your strategy on that? Um, Look, I, uh, one of my passions uh, be, um, is always been uh, personal development, you mm -hmm. know, uh, understanding your, uh, how your mind works and how much of uh, our um, results in life depend on what we think, the conversation we have inside our heads, the, the constant chattering that we have inside our heads. So it's something that I was uh, always interested in. Mm -hmm. And the funny thing is, when I uh, started having problems uh, with stress at, at my work, uh, and you know, I got a really, really um, a stressful job, and then uh, the kids came also, so so the, the family started growing, and uh, the stress levels start raising uh, even higher. Um, I started going deeper into this uh, personal development uh, studies. I started reading more books, watching more videos on internet on uh, YouTube. And uh, I, that really helped me. I started meditating again, uh, really uh, finding that quiet uh, space in your head so you can really think uh, more, tr uh, more, more uh, straight uh, during the day, recharge energies, keep you at a certain level of fitness, of, of uh, um, uh, yeah, energy level through the whole day. So all these things. And I see that many people who are uh, almost going against that that, that uh, maximum level what they can take you know they're really uh, uh, reaching their their uh, uh, um, what they can humble in life they start uh, asking themselves these kind of things you know like how can I how can I live less stressed how can I um, uh, be more efficient with my time how can I uh, um start meditating even you know the how can i meditate to to uh, feel more relaxed or to have a better uh, energy levels uh, for uh, to to be able to cope with my daily life uh, so that's actually in the in the um the audience i will say that i uh, that, that i uh, search mm. because that was in the place i uh, i found myself just because hitting the wall Mm -hmm. actually during, uh, when I hit the wall also, you know, I, I was uh, really uh, uh, using these methods to help me come, come back uh, uh, to my old, uh, old person, you know, uh, meditating to, to get my energy levels high, uh, to uh, put the stress levels down, understanding why is this, and I read a really good book about uh, um, uh, what stress is and really opened my eyes uh, to, to start mm -hmm taking in account uh, why did I come. So people who are reading those books who are in this kind of meditation uh, things uh, and trying to improve uh, their, their awareness level, um, 
I think many of uh, that people uh, resonate with my message and uh, it's also a passion I have and I combine both to make this uh, happen. Yeah, exactly. I like that strategy. That's that's well thought out. I appreciate you sharing that. I can yeah, it's a combination. You know, I'm, 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 I'm making uh, my business based on the on this passion that I already have. So this is okay. a real combination for me. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I can understand that. Yeah, I like it. I got to re-strategize re mine a little bit because that gave me some thoughts to uh, to take action on. So I appreciate that. Um, so um, you mentioned like you ran into some challenges when you started out. Um, I'm always interested as well. What are some of the uh, big challenges or what's your biggest challenge that you do have come across right now in the states that you're at with your business and living the life as a dampener. I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> With challenges, so every day challenges, 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 and uh, that's part of the that's part of the journey, my friends. That's mm -hmm. that's that's part of changing. Uh, let's think. What's the you know fears fears uh, that we have. Uh, inside of us, sometimes we don't even uh, realize we have them. We, uh, sometimes we mm -hmm. don't even uh, and, uh, understand where they come from uh, or, or don't see them as fears. We just think uh, this is the way it is and we, we act uh, upon uh, that. But actually the, these fears are keeping us in our uh, in the place we were, in the safe place, you know? Mm -hmm. So about changing and making and becoming a that entrepreneur, like you call them, I, I really love that <laughs> when, when I saw that this is, wow. How did I, why did I didn't uh, think of that uh, myself? <laughs> so great name. Um, it's actually always about breaking uh, uh, through the fears and uh, that is concentrating and uh, uh, comfort, uh, confrontating your fears, uh, understanding why and knowing that what you want is actually an, on the other side of that fear. Uh, uh, luckily, I have surrounded myself uh, with this uh, system that I'm learning to build an online business with people who understand that and who know that, who are already a couple of steps uh, ahead from me, who've gone through the, through the same uh, uh, challenges that I had at the beginning. So it's uh, easier to uh, be open about it and uh, receive uh, uh, tips and, and uh, encouragement from people who've already been through it. Mm -hmm. So if you have to do it alone, I, I don't know if I could have. I think the pressure from my outside world would have pushed me back to, to what I knew, you know, to become a manager in a production company. I was good at it and I felt comfortable in it. I felt mm -hmm. uh, that was my safe spot. So you have to be strong to stay, to break out of this and uh, having a, a group of people around you to su who support you and maybe sometimes even believe in you more than what you believe in yourself, mm. it's, it's essential. It's, I mean, for me, it, it was yeah, I, one of the most important things to, to be able to go so far. So all the challenges you have, and everybody has different challenges, everybody has different uh, fears, but uh, uh, to go through them, you have to surround you to yourself with the right people. If you only have people around you who are don't believe in you or uh, thinking you are crazy because you are uh, living your job, your career, or they, they you know, they are not supportive, and the chances are big that you'll just go back to your default and uh, stay where you were safe and where people feel safe with you, you know, when they knew how you were and what you did, and that, that's you. Yeah? People don't like change, <laughs> mm -hmm. strange enough. Um, uh, let me say uh, one 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 really big mindset change that I had to go through was uh, although I was a manager, so I had a lot of responsibility on my job. I had this um, uh, mindset of a, uh, um, a job. Uh, I don't know how do you call uh, someone who, who works in a job? Uh, employee. As an employee, exactly. Mm -hmm. So I had this mindset of an employee. If I show up to my job every day, uh, even if I feel bad and I don't do much that day, I mean, my salary is there every month the same, you know? And when you are an entrepreneur, it's the result that count. It doesn't mm -hmm. matter if you work day and night, 24 hours a day, but you're not doing the right things. 
<laughs> not income. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's, that was something I, I really had. At the beginning, I was making so many hours, uh, making things look beautiful, and all these spreadsheets and all this stuff that didn't make things happen. And uh, yeah, this is something I had to learn, but it's something really clear I can, I can share here because uh, it's this mindset of a, 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 being an entrepreneur is very different, uh, totally different than being an employee. Mm -hmm. I have to learn to do that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like you share a lot, man, right there. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I can do one more. And, you know, to build a business, you need investments. Even an online business, I, I, I found myself in a position that I have to invest in my business to grow uh, higher. And that was really scary. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you're investing money, real money. You're, you know, money you have, you have to sometimes uh, borrow, but you don't have, into an... Um, online business you know uh, how shady can it be you never know <laughs> mm -hmm. but then it comes to trust and and uh, the thing that you you know these are these fears you have that are holding you back so you, you have to break through them and once you on the other side oh man it's so exciting it's like yeah I, I, I feel in you never had as an employee because you did it you know you took the chance you stood for your ideas you stood for your family for your for your for your future mm -hmm. you made it happen <laughs> yeah no, absolutely. And then and then the greatest feeling is when you see the impact you're making on all the other people, right? That you know they were in your place before they're they're in your where you used to be, sorry, where you used to be, and now you're helping them out of that faster than you could have done in the beginning, right? When you were still like, I don't know what to do. That for me is like, man, I love that. When my clients just level up every single time we're we're talking and they're like, dude, man, last week I did this, 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 this. And I'm sitting there like Man, that's awesome, man. I, I know I'm getting paid, but shoot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> for free. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> right? Yeah, that's for me, it's like the but, most. But then you know you're doing the right thing, you know, when you when you think I, I could do this for free, then you're then you find that you're your real uh, uh the, the place where you have to be. Mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, these emails you have with people thanking you, like, man, that's much better than than any any uh, any well. Once you are comfortable uh, <laughs> financially, <laughs> yeah, exactly. you get, like, every cent that comes in, you're like, thank you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Really, yeah. all these uh, the people who are grateful and, uh, and uh, telling you, you know, you know, thank you very much for showing up. Thank you very much for, for doing this and, and being an example, being an inspiration. Mm -hmm. okay, but, uh, yeah, that, that makes you feel good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, I love it, man. Um, man, I really appreciate you sharing that. So, man, we've been over so much already, <laughs> flipping through what I wanted to talk about. So that's awesome. Um, what's your, you, you struck on something that's very important that a lot of people forget, right? A lot of people then try it on their own and, and try and try. And it's like, but dude, there, there are so many out there that have already, that, that have been where you are. And what you mentioned, right? I just found some people that were three steps ahead of me and I just started working with them and that made me go whoop, like way faster. But still there's so many people that, you know, try to do it on their own, right? What, what's, your, what, what's your advice on that with people and, and how could somebody find, because that's some, in the beginning, that's why I was struggling a little bit and a little bit scared with It's like, how can I find somebody that's, Good, good fit with me, and that is those couple of steps ahead of me of the direction that I want to go. Um, <laughs> I love this question. I love this question because it, uh, also I, I'm, I'm going to go back a little bit to the same question. Why do we hit the wall so many times? Yeah. Uh, we're humans, and uh, you know, there's this saying, I don't know how it's in, especially in the English, word, that, you know, only, only dumb uh cows hit the same wall twice or whatever something like that anyway we as humans the most uh, amazing uh, brains on the earth we we are also programmed to <laughs> to stay on the on our non safe space uh, why did i say this because so many times and i have one one uh, specific example i i saw uh, you know what kite surfing is right when you're on your on your uh, board yeah. on, uh, on the beach and with this kite uh, and then you can you know, like surfing on the on the waves i saw this sport 
and I fell in love. I said, I, I want to do this. Uh, mm. I, I started looking on the internet and I get so excited about it. So I went because, you know, I'm, 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 this is the way I'm, I went searching on the internet and I found someone who was selling a whole set, you know, the, the kite and the, the wetsuit and uh, all, all everything as a whole set to uh, in one go to sell it for a good price. I said, I get it. So I went and I got it. And I went to the beach and I started uh, <laughs> trying it out, you know, uh, because I thought I, I, I've seen enough YouTube videos. I know how to do this. <laughs> Oh, 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 man. I almost killed my, myself for so many, times. so many stupid, stupid things that you do. Until the, with a friend of mine, uh, of course, and uh, to the moment we were looking at each other, man, we are so stupid. We're doing dangerous stuff here. We're playing with our safety. While there are hundreds of teachers around, you know, there were also people taking lessons around us where we were just fucking around to tell you the truth. <laughs> uh -huh. And so I said, no, let, this is too dangerous. Let's 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 uh, not, let's pay and get a, a lesson. So that's what we did. In one, uh, we paid for one week lesson. I think three days lesson. And after this, this three days lesson, we we knew how to do safely. I mean, I don't. I'm not saying that I, I was already uh, going uh, on, up and down the beach, but I knew what to do. And then it was practice, 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 mm -hmm. practice. And then you start meeting people who are better than you and start teaching you some tricks and then you start learning from there. But what I'm trying to say here is so many times we think we can uh, figure out ourselves and we don't, maybe because in my case, it was I didn't want to pay the money for, for lessons. You know, I can figure out my, my ego talking, you know, I can figure out. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I really understand it. I, I really understand why people try to find out themselves, but uh, to the point that they get frustrated. That's that's the worst, you know. Uh, there's so much information on YouTube uh, or uh, on, online about starting a business, but only information is not enough. It's mm -hmm. not enough. Um, I was lucky on this. The moment, uh, well, when I started with uh, with uh, 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 cryptocurrency, I, I was doing it myself. But to the point, I said no. I'm not passionate about it. I don't understand it. I, I, it's too much outside my control. I, I left it. And right after that, I came across this uh, training program, you know, that, that says, you know, you want to build a business online, be part of our community. We give you the teaching. We teach you the skills. We give you the support. We give you the mentorship, what you need. And, uh, and you have to pay for it. But I thought, you know, it, it felt good. When I when I come across this, this is exactly what I need. Mm -hmm. I took it. So I, in that way, I was happy to find really quickly uh, the mentorship and the support of a community that was that was a, a, the right fit for me and stimulate me to find uh, a business model that it, where I was passionate about. So it's like yes, this is exactly what I what I want. Mm -hmm. So, but inside this community, I see a lot of people who have tried many things before. And they finally come to uh, to the community where they, they they succeed because they have the support and the, and the mentorship that they need. And it's not only about the, the successful uh, mentorship. You know, people who are already crushing it and, and making a, a huge incomes online, but especially the people who are one or two steps ahead of you, because you relate to them and they relate better to you. They remember how you were, and they give you the, the right information. So. Uh, then you make, um, in my case, I make a, a small group of uh, people where uh, we have an accountability uh, partnership. Mm -hmm. we every week, uh, we, we, you know, what's your goal? Uh, how far are you there? And really are critical for each other, but we understand each other and we're friends. Although one lives in the UK, the other one lives in uh, um, Belgium and, uh, you know, I'm, I'm here in Holland. So that's the great thing. But you need... Uh, you need these this real people helping you. It's not about watching videos and, and you crush it. It's not real. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. I don't think there might be somebody out there that has had success with that, but I think that uh, there are very few people that just by watching videos and stuff like that or are completely on their own, built their own businesses. I think everybody at a certain moment in time had that mentor that you know that first one and it just made it click 
uh, for me, it made a huge difference. Once I finally figured out, like, dude, I, I can't do this, and I found the right mentor, it was like, boom, 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 like, it was so fast. And the accountability, as you mentioned, that's it's so big. Not as somebody, you know, punishing you or yelling at you that you did something, not, you didn't do something right. But just going in the back of your mind, it's like, okay, yeah, I said that I was going to do this, and I got these guys that I'm going to be on a call with again next week. You know, they're going to ask me if I did it. So I kind of have to. It helps a lot with what you mentioned, for example, with fears, right? I hear so many people saying like, dude, man, how do you do it? You go live every single day, sometimes twice, sometimes three times a day, five times. It's like, dude, I'm so scared to go live. I'm like, just find an accountability group. Find three people that are just as afraid as you are and just hold each other accountable and go, look, this week we're going to go live, each one of us, one time. And you're going to do it because you you – you built that little competition, right? You built that little in, like, you know that the other person can ask you. don't want to hurt your face, you know? <laughs> just yeah. it. You don't want to hurt your face to, to the other guy. Exactly. Which pushes each other up because, you know, you want to show you're better and you put a bit, you know, a bit higher and the other one has to do it better. So yeah. that's the way you grow together. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So agree with you. <laughs> and also, not just the competition, but also the cheering on, right? Because I'm sure you have that in your group as well. When you did, everybody's like, yeah, man. Patrick, that's awesome. Yes, that's what we want to see. And then you're like, oh, man, this feels good. I'm not going to bubble. Shoot, I like when they clap for me. I like when they cheer me on, right? <laughs> true, 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 true. It's so important to fight a group that cheers you on. And, and especially when you, in the beginning, you have to get out of that group of people that you used to work with that are like, man, that Patrick guy, he's nuts. What are you doing? What are you doing? Your boss saying, no, 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 I'm going to reserve your spot, man, because this is going to be absolutely going nowhere. You know, you need this job. And it's like, dude, I don't need this job. I just need other people that will cheer me on instead of people that will keep me back in the same spot. So I love it, man. I appreciate you sharing that. I got one other thing that I want to talk about because you, you struck on something and we went without anybody probably noticing it, but I noticed it. And it's something very important. You said you spent – even though you was a good deal, you spend, I don't know how much it cost kites and stuff like that, but let's say it costs a thousand dollars, right? So you spend all that money on the material stuff, but then you didn't want to spend like, what is it going to cost? Like a hundred bucks on lessons, right? To improve your skills. Isn't that curious how that works? Like, isn't it curious that you can buy, I don't know, a bottle and you don't think about it and you buy it, but then putting in 10 bucks on yourself for a book, Right, that you know you're gonna learn something. For, you think about it for like a, the longest time. You're like, mm, should I do this? Should I not? But then again, a new pants that cost you seventy five bucks is like, okay, yeah, no, no, I gotta have, I gotta have this Levi. I mean, I have must, right? Dude, I've, that's something else that I came. I saw you talking about. It, I was like, man, it's so Crazy. interesting. I never thought of the, of it that way, but. Uh, something I recognize and you know just came out of my, uh, right now mm. is that many times we want to have the results before mm -hmm. the event. and I, maybe that, that's also with this you know I mean when you buy a kite or something material you get it you know it's physical you have it you put your money and you get it back mm -hmm. a book of course you buy the book but it's kind of if you're gonna invest in yourself it's mm -hmm. sort of you want to be already uh, better before putting the money for it uh, to invest in a mentor for example you know why would you pay somebody to to help you you know like you want to be already that good person before investing the money so that's i don't have it very clear in my head either but i think there is a, a, a system in our heads that mm -hmm. that supports that somehow which is crazy yeah, and everything in life is you know, the first investment and then the, the fruits you know first you have to put the work and then the fruits but many times we expect the fruits before uh, doing the work. No, absolutely. And uh, yeah, you might be right. Maybe it's a system. I mean, I've seen so many messages as well, right? A student can get a 200,000 student loan or more. However, an entrepreneur can get a 20K loan to start up his business. It's like, what? <laughs> That's ridiculous. It's insane. At least the person that has a business is, is you know, having a chance to make some money, the, the, the guy that's going to go to school, he first has to finish his school and then hopefully get a job after that he finishes. Man, the system is crooked. <laughs> it, it, is, it is, it is. And, and that's, that's my message also for many people to, uh, you know, to, to get the, the attention. I, I say this 
system it's not um, in accordance with uh, with our uh, actual reality mm -hmm. and we are in a generation that we are going to make big changes uh, because our kids are young enough they're going to see us making this change into a, a life of choice you know that you really make uh, uh, what you really want to do and it's not anymore that if you want to be a success, you have to go to to, to uh, university or for, for college, which was when I was young. That was it. If you want to be successful, college. Mm -hmm. At least, you know. Um, so I think that is changing, and we are in the generation that's really making that that huge change. And the whole system has to adapt to it. You know, all the banking, all the all the huge universities with the big names are really scared about this. <laughs> mm -hmm. I, I love it, man. I'm looking forward to it. Like what I find really cool of all these interviews that I'm do, that we're doing right now, right? I had some guys on here that are further, but also as parents, like they have kids that are older, like 13, 14, and they're sharing them during the stories with me. You know, they're 14, 13, 15 year olds. They're already starting their own businesses, right? And I'm just like, dude, man, I can't wait for that to happen. That's <laughs> Mm, that's like the dream, man. That's why I'm focusing. So I'm just like, you know, being friends with them all the time, asking them, hey, how's it going, man? What's he doing now? <laughs> What's going on? Right? Because that's just so inspiring, man. Just seeing little kids, you know, that there's some 10 year olds that are doing amazing stuff 11, 12, 16 year olds, 17 year olds, right? I don't care that they're millionaires. I just care about them just really going out there, making an impact on their passion, right? Instead of following that. Yeah, the nine to five path that that you know we are being pushed into and that we're being taught mostly. So, man, I I love that we are at that verge of you know we're breaking that chain, right? I think that's so important. Yeah, especially especially the ones like you and me, you know, that were uh, deciding and fighting from the uh, established nine to five mm -hmm. into a, 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 a life of choice. You know, I mean. It's okay if you if you like your nine to five, and it's very often also really necessary to start your own thing, you know, by start your business next to your job. And mm -hmm. if if you're okay, if you live with it, and and you're passionate about your your job, perfect, because it gives you some kind of security and gives you some uh, also some peace of mind. But the truth is, eighty or eighty five percent of people. Tra feel trapped and feel really unhappy in this situation, and no. that's why that's the people who have to start thinking. And and the whole the whole um, technology evolving is also making sure that less people are needed in, in jobs. So come on, <laughs> it's not only a choice anymore. We have to re uh, reinvent ourselves. We have to re educate ourselves. We have to find other way. And the the earlier you begin to think about it, the younger you are, the easiest. But I mean. I'm working with people 50 years old who are uh, realizing this. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm too old for this, but they are doing it, and you're taking action. 50, 60 years old, reinventing themselves is so cool. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I keep saying, man, I wish I, I wish I knew what I know, or when I was 20, what I know now. I would have done things so differently. Like I would have worked my nine to five for sure, but I would have immediately start investing more in myself and finding ways of getting side income. Like I, I interviewed some of these guys that with the money that they made, bought some houses, you know, started rent, renting it out or start flipping it or, you know, go into affiliate marketing from the beginning and building it up little by little. Dude, if I would have started when I was 20, <laughs> life would have looked a lot different. But hey, we're here now and that's, that's great, right? We have now the opportunity to teach our children. So I'm definitely working on that. Hey, Patrick, we, man, it's always been an hour. Time flies when we're having fun. And we were only thinking about having a quick call with each other. So that's awesome. <laughs> um, look, man, I actually got tons of more things I want to talk to you about, but I, I don't want to keep you more of your time. I know how, how valuable your time is to you and spending it some time with your kids tonight before they go to sleep. And mine also, actually, they're, they're about to come home. So um, other fathers out there that are having questions, they're like, man, I really like this, Patrick. Besides, let me... Let me share it again, right? Besides going to your website, what are other ways to, to connect with you? Well, my email, Patrick Van Diemen at uh, patrickvandiemen.com. That's the best way. I, I'm i not really um, uh, so open online. I have uh, the website and I have a small YouTube channel. It's not, it doesn't get my attention. 
But so the best way is uh, through my uh, website. You can even make an appointment to a call uh, on my website or just send me an email and uh, we take it from there. Yeah. Awesome, man. That's great. Well, everybody that is watching now can see it. PatrickVanDiemen.com. And for the people that later on, or if you're listening now to the podcast, you know, you know how it goes. The drill is it's in the description and you can click on the link and enjoy it there. So uh, make sure you check him out. I checked out his website. It looks great. Great information in there. And I highly recommend it. It's a great step for people that are in the nine to five. And, and yeah, you know, maybe you've hit your head already. Maybe you haven't. Um, I hope you haven't and decided to make that change because it's, it's, Man, it's life. Well, you know, here's the example, right? It's life changing. It's fantastic. Being able to spend that time with your kids instead of just giving them a kiss when they're already sleeping, right? When you're all tired coming back from work. So again, Patrick, thanks so much for taking the time and, and flipping <laughs> real quick the switch to go live with me for an hour. I really appreciate it. Always ready. Always ready. <laughs> Everybody else, man, thank you for sticking with us for an hour. I really appreciate you and make a change by taking action right now. Take care, bye-bye. Are you still meeting up with your friends now that you're a father? Kids making you stress out, you got no time for yourself to work out, read, or relax. Can you still remember the time you were hanging out with your friends, feeling energetic, happy, and confident? Spending time together and talking about your life and your crazy dreams. You're feeling alone now, don't you? No one to share your challenges with. And you're just running around from one storm into the next. Well, it's time to change this now. Join me and the Brotherhood of Fearless Fathers to speak on a weekly basis with like-minded dads to crush your challenges. Face your fears with determination be held accountable and regain control of your life. If you want to become the hero your family needs you to be, then go to becomeafearlessfather.com slash brotherhood. Looking forward to seeing you on one of our next calls.